Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we found that Melia's conspiracy is starting to come to fruition. It's her mom who's all up all up on her balls. Wait, Melia's balls. All up on her vagina? Yeah, that works. Uh, that works. And so we need to head to the tomb and try and save her ass. Because that, that sweet little ass is one that I would love to save. Um... Alvis told me that you get there from here, from the center gate area, and there it is. I knew there had to be another teleporter from this spot. It just didn't seem right that there was only one teleporter. When on the map, I could clearly see one other one. I just glossed right over this teleporter when I was looking around last time. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit this teleporter, and it should take us to the tomb, assuming that the tomb is only one teleporter away. Hey, yes it is. Hi, Antia Tomb. What do you know? I suppose I could have went over here before, I just didn't know I could. Cutscene already? This is the tomb. Defensive measures prevent intruders from entering. You will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb. One thing before we enter. Alvis, you can see the future like me. I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family. My visions help to protect the Empire. But you're Hans. Yes. But that is for another time. My ancestry is not easily explained. And my ability to see the future is equally complicated. You might say, I have my own ritual. Is it not the same for you? No. My visions appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. I still have not seen any danger befall Her Highness. Not much use as a seer then, are you? Nothing passes you by, does it? Now you see why I asked for your help. What a lucky coincidence that I happened to see you in danger. A coincidence? But I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The Sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world. Ether. Control the ether, and your will is made reality. I willed it, and it happened. That is all. Perhaps due to that power, the High Entia sealed away the Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shulk. A coincidence, or something more? You must discover this yourself, for you are the one who wields the Monado. The Bionis is stirring. That is another aspect of the story I'm interested in. Is, is the end game here going to be the Bionis Awakens? And what happens if the Bionis wakes up? Is everybody in the world screwed? Like, can he just, like, do, like, that thing like dogs do and shake off the water? But the, he shakes and all the people go flying off. It's like a huge earthquake and then everybody falls off and dies? I'm curious to see. The ancestral altar lies deep beneath the seals. What trials await me, I wonder? I must not lose focus. Oh god, we're gonna have to control her by herself, aren't we? Uh, I guess it's not so bad most of the time. But, let's go ahead and walk this way. Hopefully there won't be a whole lot of stuff we have to do by herself. I'm mostly worried if I'm gonna have to fight a lot. Verification device. We must verify that you are truly of... of... Royal blood? I don't know. I don't know what it verifies. Five hundred and twelve cycles since last visitor. State your name and purpose. Melia Antiqua. I have come to be judged on my legitimacy to the throne by the ancestral spirits. Permission granted. Commencing analysis of genetic data. They got Hal in this game. I didn't even expect that. Hmm. 
How are we gonna get the door open though? I mean, she's a freaking princess. How the hell are Shulk and others gonna get the door open? Yeah, see, we're about to find out, I guess. It's so cold. There are remnants of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited... Well, what does this do? Don't touch! Huh? Good fucking job, Ryan. Good fucking job. You just killed us all. You just fucking killed us all. What if there's spikes down here, man? What if we just re seriously all got impaled by spikes? That would have been fucked up, Brian. Hi, Antia Tomb. Now we're gonna get to explore it the way it was meant to be explored. Okay. Oh, I see. Now that we're Melia alone and we have to fight as Melia alone, they're gonna teach us how to use Melia. Since they don't expect you to try and learn for yourself before that. Wait, okay. Fire elementals after summoning them to deal damage rather than using them to grant yourself buffs. However, when taking multiple enemies once, try inflicting sleep on some to make it easier. Take care not to awaken sleeping monsters with arts like summon flare. Okay. I see. So, kind of try to take on one enemy at a time. Don't get jumped because getting jumped is probably not going to work out for the best. I'm just going to try to avoid fighting altogether. Isn't she the same level? Yeah, okay. She's the same level as everybody else, so there's no reason to fight everything if I can if I don't have to. I'm only gonna fight if I have to. Like this thing? Ah, oh, damn it. It looks like we have to. Here we go. Let's uh No, I meant to summon the fire one first. It's all right. Just keep summoning. I don't know. Fighting with her by herself is just, it's just not as fun. It's cool when you have a party, but her by herself, this is going to get old real fast. I'm not even sure if I'm doing this like the right, using the right strategy. But who cares? I win. I win. Hopefully there's not like huge battles here. Here I was saying that I'll just avoid battles, but <laughs> it doesn't look like this place is going to let me avoid battles. That was pretty much uh, a scripted battle. I won't call it scripted, but battle you can't avoid, that's for sure. Green diode. It's a very amazing sounding item. It's a diode that's green. I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to like explore this area later, or is this the only time I'm going to be able to be here? Is this like a one? Is this place a one-off? I'm wondering. I kind of hope it's not a one-off, because there's some stuff I'm supposed to do here besides besides the main story thing. Like, by stuff I just mean there's like, there's items I need to get here as like a quest or whatever. Yup, battle time. What do we got? We got two of those thingies. Okay, there's two of them. And all of a sudden it's nighttime. Let's see if we can lure one over here. Come here, bitch. Just one. No, they're both attacking. Damn it. Summon hopefully this doesn't. Hopefully this doesn't. Uh, doesn't. Uh, this doesn't hurt. Flare impulse. Building within me. Build it. Build it. This isn't so bad. I'm way over leveled. I hear I was thinking the monsters here were gonna be all high level. They're only level 33 and shit. I could probably kill them just beating them down with my stick. Just beat him with your stick. That's so. That's like. That just seems like a faster way to do this. Just beat the bitches down with your stick. The stick is pretty damn strong compared to sitting here waiting for everything to be recharged. I'm. I'm very glad that I leveled up as high as I have now. This place would be a bitch and a half if I was only level like 35. Man. Thank God for Quest Fest, man. Well, I should be thinking. Thank you, God. The only person to really thank is myself. Thank myself for doing Quest Fest. Because without it, here I would be at a place that I wouldn't be able to handle without being higher level. Or not, I'd be probably cursing and dying and getting super pissed off. And instead, here I am just walking through this place seamlessly without, without worries. Without a care in the world. 
Let's see what this cutscene is going to entail. Does this not remind you of Never Ending Story? Descendant? Are you the progenitor of Antiqua? Think of me as a recreation of said ancestor, possessing his thoughts and speech. But he passed away thousands of years ago. Do not mistake me for a living being. Just call me how. I am a replica of your ancestor. I am merely a projection of what he would be if you were to meet him now. Mm -hmm. I do not understand. But I do not suspect any falsehood in your words. It is beyond doubt. If I could feel, I would feel joy. I am not real. Joy? What do you mean? The results of the gene analysis show Hong's gene integration of 80%. Estimates suggest evolution within eight generations. Our wishes are almost fulfilled. Wishes? Our purpose, as decreed by the Bionis, is linked to our genetic sequence. We have spent millennia analyzing sequences to free ourselves from the curse. Only a certain gene set will unlock the mechanism and set us free. I still do not understand. Yeah, neither do I. What it the is hell? No consequence. I grant you this seal. They don't want wings on their head anymore, or something. That's what I'm. That's what I'm picking up from this. Is this Ancestor, I go forth and rule my descendant. <laughs> so the spirits look favorably upon you. How the fuck did she get in here? Explain yourself. Only Imperials are permitted to enter this place. I am the subject of Her Highness the First Consort. I need no permission. Mother's subject? No impure child of the second consort has the right to refer to the first consort as mother. I... I... A filthy Homs half-breed has no right to the throne. Bitch, please. Time to throw down? I'll throw down right now, bitch. You don't even want some. You don't even. Um, okay, I was gonna say, what's happening? Oh, we get to see what's going on with everybody else. I could take her. Melly has got <sighs> skills. Who puts a great big hole somewhere like that? As I explained, it's a defense mechanism. What a mess, Ryan. Friend, not clever touching button. <sighs> I'm with these guys, Ryan. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? What about your visions, eh? You think the two of you could come up with something? You know it doesn't work like that. It would have been useful, yes. Pair of fortune-telling frauds. You got us into this mess. And it's not the first time either. Hmm, Ricky, agree with Shulk. Why is it my fault all of a sudden? This time it is your fault. Precisely. Well, um... <laughs> Be thankful that we are all alive. I suggest greater care next time. Our journey will be longer, but we can still make our way deeper into the tomb. Okay. We can't waste another second. Melia needs us. <laughs> uh, I love how they just piled on Ryan there. He did deserve it, though. Dumbass. Um, this is not the party I want to use. Sorry, game. You you guessed wrong on the party I wanted to use. Um, I was going to use Dunban as the leader. Because that way, um, if I run into any of the Entia, then I can fight them. Since Shulk doesn't seem to be able to hit them. I, I didn't understand what was going on last episode. I was like, how come I can't hit these fools? 
Oh, come on, cat head up! Whoa, the door opened. Awesome. I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to go, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I like exploring. I'm an I'm explorer born and bred. Whoa! That thing just appeared out of nowhere, didn't it? Kill it. It's, I, it's also fun to control my other characters, especially Dunban. I haven't controlled him very much. I did when I got him, but it's been a while. I figure it's time to do some Dunban. Oh, that's the move that does topple. The green one. I can see this isn't trying to remember which all. move did topple. I knew Dunban did a topple move. No, Apparently, it's the one that has the green fist on it. Now, which way am I supposed to go? Look at the map, please. Please look at the map. The map might give me a glimpse into where the hell I am. I'm wondering if both ways will probably lead around in a circle. Whoa! That kind of scared shit out of me. I saw the red dots, but I didn't know what the hell. Now I know what the hell. Blossom dance. Do the blossom dance. Do the, do the blossom dance. Do the blossom dance. Do the, do the blossom dance. Ah, stop beating Dunban up. He did nothing. Dunban's too awesome. How dare you knock him off his feet, bitch. Child's play. Destruation today with that child's play. Oh, I see. I kind of want to kill everything just because uh, there's, if there's any chance at all that I can't come back here... I, I don't want to miss any items or monsters that I have to kill. I really don't. So, to avoid ha that happening, I'm just going to go ahead and kill everything I see. The first half of this whole damn episode is cutscenes, which is fine. That probably means we're not going to do this whole tomb in one episode. I'm going to probably try to do as much as I can without getting too, too much further. Like, get to another cutscene. I don't want to get to another cutscene if I if I accidentally you know pro, uh, uh, progress the story and waste up like the last like the end of last episode. I honestly did not mean for that to last as long as it did. It's completely an accident. But no matter, it's not like it really affected anything in the long run. No mercy. This one's like long. Okay, let's sort this out nice and quickly. Fire this! La la la! Boom! And I don't think I've said this um, as I was recording, but these things that I'm fighting, um, I actually fought a couple of these at the very beginning of the game when, if you remember back when I had, when I fought those, right before the Makanis attack Colony 9 at the beginning of the game, I fought some ancient machines inside of that thing at the, si at the cylinder place, and I was... Somebody in my comments mentioned to me that I should remember these things, and I was like, what the hell are you talking about? I don't remember these things. Well, I should because I actually fought some of these at the beginning of the game. They were called Ancient Machines, and I think it kind of foreshadows some, some story plot stuff we're going to learn, or at least some history we're going to learn about how the colonies became colonies in the first place. Like, why are they even called colonies? Why aren't they just called towns? Or gatherings of people. I don't know. There's there's got to be a reason for it. There can't just be no abs just absolutely no reason why they're called what they're called. We're gonna get some insight into why those machines were there eventually. I'm sure. Like, did the Antia have put them there? Have they been there for ancient since ancient times, just guarding that area? I mean, why did they activate then? Do they? The, like was that just a random occurrence of them activating? It was just, it's just strange. That's all. Andos antenna. How's that? How come that's only, well, first only the first one of those I've gotten? Did I not pick the other ones up? Am I forgetting to pick up the chests after I kill these things? I might be. I'm gonna have to go back and make sure I didn't miss another chest. Or maybe that was just the first time that one of those actually dropped that item. I gotta make sure I pick up these chests. They kind of get blending. They kind of blend in with the with the whole shiny white background. I see, like I can't see. I can't see. Okay, good. I didn't miss one. I didn't think I did. 
but I guess there was always a chance. I, like I said, though, I want to make sure I don't miss anything in this place. Especially not that tasty sausage. Can't miss that tasty sausage. Whoa. Another one just had to appear right in my face. How dare you. I think this is leading me back to the room where I started, so it is one big circle. Good to know, though. At least it's not a maze. And by that, I just mean where, like, you can only get through certain doors and have to go. If you go the wrong way, you gotta go back. At least it's one big circle where I can just walk all around and go everywhere. In which case, just take my tasty sausage and go back, right? Let me make sure I'm right on that. Yeah, okay, I was correct. So let's just make sure I methodically check every path and not miss anything. I'm try to avoid the, the flag for now so I don't accidentally go where I need to go. You know, I'm gonna kill everything here. There's no reason not to, like I said. Some of these th guys are dropping items I need for a quest. Some of these monsters might actually be monsters for a quest. Although, if they were, I probably would have already saw questing pop up. And that combo thing from Dunban kicks ass. Kicks some motherfucking ass. Prepare for a chain attack. Actually, that's a good idea. Prepare for a chain attack. Let's do this. Chain attack, bitch. Gut buster. Ryan, uh, oh shit, he doesn't have any pink moves. Well, fuck me. War swing. Just so I can hit both of them. And then you can do Metal Blast. Bam, bro. Okay, Metal Blast apparently doesn't do shit. What a waste of a turn. No matter. Whoa! Did some kind of electrical impulse move to knock my ass down. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. I think the, the monster or enemy that drops the item I need for the quest is the Asul one. Just gotta make sure I fight all the Asul ones. These other ones don't seem to matter as much. Hover Astis. I don't think they've dropped anything I need so far. Although, I've only fought a couple of these ones. Just die already. Damn, they have such high defense. Pissing me off. Okay, let's get going. Okay, he didn't give me anything I needed. Nor did he. But I'm pretty sure the Asul one is the one that gives me the items I want. So I'll just make sure I kill all the Asul ones. Oh look, another dead end. Oh, not a dead end. This is a staircase. Oh, okay. Well, if that's a staircase, we'll go check it out in a moment. I want to finish looking around. Or... No, I want to. I was going to say, or I'll go down there and check back. But never mind. i got to finish looking around before I go down. Maybe that's the only way to go down. Although, didn't I see another room like that over here? I think I did. I think there was another... Yep, there's another staircase right there. Yeah, let's kill the Asul one. I think that's the one that actually drops the items I need. Come on. Drop the item I want, bitch. Drop it. Don't make me gut bust you. Don't make me gut bust you. I'll do it. I will do it. And I will not hesitate. They don't want to give me the item I want. Apparently the one that they give you is a ran or random is rare. Damn it. Why has it gotta be rare? Whoa. Oh god, a quest item. Of course there's a quest item here. Green diodes? Wait, why didn't I get that? Oh. Because I found the first one when I was walking around as Melia. That's why. I was about to say, how come I didn't get that to pop up before? I'm fast forwarding this battle. This battle, these, these guys take forever to kill. Alright. Let's hope I actually got a drop that I wanted from those guys. Not from that one. But, yay. We got the Andos antenna. We need one more and we'll be done with that quest. Cool. And it's looking like, yep, this is another spiral staircase that goes down. Which just means it really is going to be one big area that is a big circle. It's like a circle. I think I am going to want to go up and down that other staircase, though. There was some blue items there. Oh, we could have jumped down. There's water in the middle. Well, that's cool. 
Spiral lamp. Yet another item I need to find here in this place. Cool. It's actually good to know. Well, let's just drop in the water then. Fuck it. White tube. White tube. Is it like a toothpaste? Okay. We just need to kill the... We don't need to kill that one. That thing doesn't give a shit that we want. Yeah, screw the Nero one. I'm not killing those ones anymore. Uh, hover. Yeah, screw you. Those things don't seem to give me anything I want. The hover one or the Nero one. I say that, but I bet you money if I... They probably give me an item I really use for something. Just not for anything that, like around here. <sighs> Die, you damn asshole. Now give me the item I want so I can be done with that quest. Fantastic. Got my three Andos antenna. You know what? I'm going to kill all the enemies in this area. I'll just be right back. Yeah, because there's a chance I might not be able to come back here later, I decided to just kill everything in the area. Because, like, I, I really don't know what to expect later in the game. Like, in terms of items I might need, or even be a being able to come back inside of here. So I better just collect as much shit as I can and kill everything and get as much of everything as I can. If there's any chance that I can't come back here, I might as well. It looks like there's some more guys in this area I'm going to kill. What the? Oh, I got another spiral lamp. So that quest is done. Anyway, I'm going to kill everything in this area, and I'll be just right back. All right, so I cleared out all the enemies in this area. But before I go into the door that it looks like I'm supposed to go in, I'm going to go up this staircase and collect all the blue things. Because like I said, I'm going to try to collect all the blue things. Lucky for me, when I get to the top, I can just jump down into the water. I don't have to walk my ass all the way around again. It's a nice little shortcut. Green earwig. Green earwig. Earwigs are those little fucking pincer bugs, right? Those things are annoying. I hate those bugs, man. Why are they called earwigs anyways? Wait, do the items just respawn after like a few minutes or something? They do. So do the enemies, apparently. Well, fuck. Maybe I'll walk around here for a minute and just get like a shitload of everything. You know, I'm gonna do that. So, I'll just meet you in front of that door that had the flag. Alright, so here I am back at this door. This is the way the flag is. I don't exactly want to make it to the flag in this episode. But I do want to finish getting somewhere. Okay, well it doesn't look like I can go across here. Probably need Melia to activate that, but if you'll notice, there's an up and down arrow thingy, which means I can climb on this wall. Yeah, Legend of Zelda style, baby. At least he's at least he climbed faster than Link does in Legend of Zelda, man. If this was Legend of Zelda, I'd be climbing so fucking slow, so fucking slow. Ooh, I need to check my collectopedia, see how many different items are in this place. White tube. I don't think I've gotten any new ones for a while. I don't think there, unless there's just no other new ones. I might already be done with this place. This place doesn't prob probably doesn't have a lot of different items. Well, let's go to the middle. Wait, no, 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 no. I was about to go to the middle, but never mind. Okay, let's do one. Let's just check the Collectopedia. Let's do that, and then we'll end this episode. That'll be it. I don't know where we are on real time because I'm cutting stuff out. But it looks like we are done with this place already, which is nice. Got an ether up plus three. We get an electric plus three. And a ether defense up three. That's actually pretty awesome. Shell armor. That's probably good armor too. Okay, that's where we're going to end this episode. I'll see you guys next time or we will cross this bridge. So until then, peace.